hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson we are going to learn about the concatenation and array indexing concatenation is the process of joining arrays to make a larger one so let's redefine our array a with a with a matrix so a is equal to let's keep it into our into a square bracket so one is space two is space three and then there is a semicolon and then 4 space 5 space 6 and then there is a semicolon then 7 space 8 space 9 and just hit the enter now you will see here there is a array it's a 3 by 3 sorry this is a matrix and this is a 3 by 3 matrix now you can do concatenation by just combining it into 2 square bracket so let's assign b is equal to a comma a and now you will notice here A and A will be concatenated together and this will be a horizontal concatenation. Now you can see here 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the 7, 8, 9. So this is the horizontal concatenation. Suppose that if you want to do a vertical concatenation then you can just simply write it B is equal to and then A and then semicolon and then A. Now it will do a vertical concatenation. That's when A, A will be treated as a single array and here is A and semicolon will treat it as a new line that is you can say a new row and here it is another row of that matrix. right so now let's move toward the complex numbers so complex numbers both have a real and the imaginary parts where the imaginary unit is the square root of one so suppose that if you write here sqrt minus one so sqrt is a function which calculates a square root of any variables so if you write here sqrt minus one that is the complex number so the complex number has here two variables the first one is the real and second one is the imaginary so it is simply i since real is since real is zero and in a similar way suppose that if you write here two minus two it will print here minus 2 that is in in fact it's root kind of root 2 so it's a uh, 1.4142i okay so this is all about array concatenation and the complex number now let's move to the array indexing so every variable in the matlab is an array as we have already discussed it and that can hold many numbers when you want to access selected elements of the array, you, then you need to use indexing. For example, suppose that if you want to access first value of this array a, then what you can do a, a cross a, a, a comma 1, that will access first value of array, that means the first row of the first column. Suppose that if you write here 1 comma 2, it will access first row and the second column and if you write here 3 3 comma 2 it will access third row and the second value so if you see here of array here is the third row and the second value that is the second column right so suppose that if you try to get a value that is outside of the array indexing then it will throw an error suppose that if you try to get a value of a fourth column first row sorry fourth row first column it will throw an error and this says that index in position 1 exceeds array bounds and that must not exceed 3 and of course since a is only 3 by 3 matrix that means you cannot access fourth row or a fourth column so in both cases it will give you error So suppose that if you want to retrieve a multiple element of an array then you can use a, a colon operator so which allows you to specify a range of a from start and the end suppose that if you want to get a value of a first row of column 1 and the 2 then what you can do then you can write here let's say a first row and now you want column 1 to 2 then 1 colon 2 
now it will get all the value of the first row and the column 1 and the 2 right that is the 1 and the 2 and suppose that if you want to extract these two these four values sorry 5 6 8 and the 9 that means then you can specify here now if you see here that is the row number 2 and the 3 that's mean 2 and the 3 and the column number is also 2 and the 3 and you hit enter now you will see here 5 6 8 and the 9 has been printed there and in the similar way you can assign it to new you can assign it to a new variable that is the b and this colon operator this colon operator uh, without start at the end values specifies all of the elements in that dimension suppose that if you want to print all the value of a first row then you can simply write here one and then comma and then you can put here colon so this colon will specify that the first row and the all column and that is one two and the three and in the similar way suppose that if you want to print here a third row you can simply specify a3 comma and the colon it will again print all the values of the third row now let's talk more about the workspace variable so this workspace contains variable that you create within a are import into MATLAB from data files or other programs. So whatever execution we have already done, all these variables are already stored into the workspace. Now suppose that if I close this MATLAB, then what will happen? These workspace variable will be lost. And if you do not want to lose these variables, then you can save these variables into a MATLAB file. And suppose that if you want to know more about these variables, then you can simply type here whose. And once you type here whose, it will print everything about these variables. So it says that there is a variable that has a size of 3 by 3 and it is stored 72 bytes. And the data type stored into this a variable is double. And in the similar way, it has all the variable names. And if you see here, the maximum size has been stored maximum size has been occupied by opt and the t2 variables that has more dimensions than a b c d and e variables so suppose that if you want to store these variables then you can simply type here save and then you can type here your file name for which you want to store so suppose that if you want to give my file that might so the mat will specify that a mat file so this these variables workspace variable will be stored here into a form of dot mat so here and this dot mat extension known as a mat file now suppose that if you want to even now you can close your matlab and again if you restart your matlab these variables will be preserved in that case what we can do we can clear all so the clear all will clear all the variables and if you type here clc clc will clear this command window now you do not have access to any variable suppose that if you type here a a will not be printed here if you type b b will not be printed here since this variable has been lost so what we can do we can load this this mat file and all the variable will be loaded here so type here load and then myfile.mat so you will see here all these variable has been loaded now you can simply get access to all those variables so this is all about to this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into in your directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day Thank <music> you.